What is the Zeitgeist Movement? The Zeitgeist Movement as well as the Venus Project recognizes that problems like violence, addiction, pollution, poverty, and war are a result of the free market capitalist system. The market is not a social system, the market is actually a religion. In the book Modern Money Mechanics under the section, What Makes Money Valuable, it says, quote, What, then, makes these instruments, checks, paper money, and coins acceptable at face value in payment of all debts and for other monetary uses? Mainly, it is the confidence people have that they will be able to exchange such money for other financial assets and for real goods and services whenever they choose to do so. End quote. This is important to point out that the book that is meant to justify money makes a distinction between real goods and services, like clean water, food, technology, and money. The idea that since money is believed to have value therefore it has value is religious in nature. Beyond that even the foundation of money, trading is also religious and based on hate. Two parties both attempting to use deception to gain the better end of the deal. This is what the market promotes, competition, not cooperation, or both parties mutually benefiting which is what trade is falsely advertised as. Enjoying say a competitive game of table tennis or chess does not mean our social system should be based on competition. The poor suffer from direct poverty while the rich suffer a sort of spiritual poverty or poverty of the soul as someone has to have a huge ego to not care about their fellow human beings, to tower over others. The competitive market is stressful which results in illness and addictions, the market also results in inequality, and the greater the gap between the rich and the poor, the more violent and ill the society in general. For example, the structurally classist nature of interest payments to the bank from loans increases inequality. Economic classism is a disorder as it exists purely for the sake of the rich disrespecting the poor by looking down on them, increasing violence. Inflation, which is more money entering an economy through loans, devalues a person's money which affects the poor more than the rich. It also puts people under more stress to make ends meet. Also when one is obscenely wealthy there is no limit to what a person can buy, meaning money is a form of manipulation of the poor by the rich. To continue using money is death for our species and for life in general on the planet. Also the market's labor for income system is immature in the face of technology where human labor can be replaced by machine labor, this includes mental labor as well. War is profitable in this system, weapon corporations have to sell all those guns, missiles, and tanks. Destruction and hate is profitable, which is the opposite of what makes human life possible, love. Hate is unsustainable. To run a business you have to cater towards either some sort of scarcity like making food scarce, or some sort of destructive element in society like cigarettes, alcohol, weapons, or a casino which is just another way of increasing inequality. It's all been arranged just for us to get your money. Sam Ace Rothstein, Robert De Niro, in the movie Casino. Copyright is also a product of trying to make things scarce instead of letting the public improve upon a design in the public domain or in an open source manner, like Linux. Copyright is a form of arrogance, it is claiming to own a piece of reality when our reality already allowed the design to exist. Our reality is connected everywhere all the time, meaning there are no inventions, only discoveries. In other words sustainability, abundance, efficiency, and peace are the enemies of monetary profit. So the Zeitgeist Movement and the Venus Project promote an open-source society, or a natural law resource-based economy. Where the goal is human health and the health of the natural environments that support us. Where products are built to last instead of building products to break for repeat purchases. Where the direct value of resources is taken into account scientifically instead of trying to make things scarce and profit from that scarcity which is what monetary economics does. A resource-based economy would work in a similar way to how public libraries work today. You'd book an item, pick it up from a distribution center, use it, and then return it when the person no longer needs it. This is instead of people essentially needing to buy everything they want to use. Like the TV show Hoarders. Also notice in the show Hoarders it is poor hoarders which are focused on, not the rich 1% who hoard 50% of all wealth. Like knowledge should be abundant property should be abundant. This would be done through access to property, not ownership. This would enable an abundance and render violence obsolete. Join the Zeitgeist Movement